Hello and welcome to my messy desk. I have a little um, tutorial slash like craft hack to show you. So I hope you enjoy it and you find it helpful. So I'm gonna show you a little hack to use rub on transfers. So I prepped this tag. This is a Tim Holtz tag. I believe I don't know what number it is but it is about the same size as the stencil so as you can see I use this stencil um, and I used let's see I used peeled paint and savage patina and then I did the edges with tea dye so I'm going to decorate this with these transfers I think this is the set I got them from I believe it's 49 and market I'm pretty sure so I'm going to use some of these. I may use some Tim Holtz ones, but I'm going to just fussy cut these out and kind of lay them around where I want them. And I'll probably speed that up so you're not <laughs> watching me fussy cut. And then maybe some Timmy ones too. So let's, let's lay them out and see how we want this tag to look. So I have placed these where I want them. Now traditionally, you know, you get your little stick and, and rub it and get it to go on, but we're gonna use the Big Shot or any die cutting machine that you have. And we're going to let the pressure of the Big Shot do the work for us. So really it's just a matter of figuring out your sandwich and getting the right amount of pressure to allow the images to transfer. So, um, you know, it's gonna vary based on how thick your tag is or your paper, whatever you're putting this on. So we're gonna try with the, the base. We have the two plates and I have the little shim that you use for thumbnails. So kind of think of your surface as your paper and your rub-ons as your dies. Just kind of think of it that way. You just need enough pressure for it to work. And sometimes you might find that you need to add a shim of cardstock or something. You know, you can usually kind of feel if it's gonna be enough pressure, right? So we're gonna get this going, maybe. <laughs> okay, so maybe I need to take out the shim. Let's try that. Maybe the shim is too thick and we might need a piece of cardstock. You just never know. Okay, so I can already tell that is not gonna be enough pressure, but the shim was too much pressure. So, in situations like that, I just like to grab a piece of cardstock. This is my go to stack of cardstock for stuff like this because I don't really like the color. I got it, I think, in like a, a stack of cardstock thrifting. So, I usually just use this one for testing things but anyways let's try with that piece of cardstock folded okay mm, I feel like it might not be enough pressure but I'm gonna roll it through a few times and then we'll check it so I feel like maybe just a little, little more piece of paper but this is what we'll do to check take this off and we're just gonna peel up a little corner and see if it worked and see i didn't think it was gonna be enough pressure but it was look at that perfectly transferred 
well, maybe not perfectly. Oh, you know what? I thought it didn't, but I think I cut that off a little bit. Let's try this one. In this one. All right, now I can see, look at, that one didn't come off all the way. So, no problemo. We're just going to run it back through. And maybe, maybe this corner, because it's a little bit warped on my plate, that could have been the issue. So I'm just gonna grab this little piece that I have right here, add a little pressure right next, right in that area that I didn't transfer, and we'll run it through a couple times right there. And we'll see how that worked. All right, let's try this. Let's see if that did the trick. Look at that. Okay, so we got our transfers on. Easy peasy. Just get your sandwich right, get the right amount of pressure, and there you go. Let's try another one, shall we? All right, I have these Seven Gypsies ones. They are, well, I think all Seven Gypsies stuff is discontinued, if I'm correct. I, I'm not really sure, but I do love their stuff. Um, it's a close second. Well, I would say, I well, I guess I always say I love Timmy, of course, then Graphic 45, and then Seven Gypsies is right there. So if I want to use this little tag, and actually, you know what? Let's use an even smaller one that has like this nice little gray background. Now this one already has the grommet in it. So that could give us some issues, but we'll see. Um, which one would I like? You know, this one's kind of a good size. Let's cut this one out. It says identification check, pretty cool. This one already has like a background, so I don't even have to worry about decorating the tag. We can just ink the edges and grunge it up when we're done. So I just put that on here. We're going to grab, I think we'll use the same sandwich that we had. So I'm gonna leave that piece of cardstock under there. And I think I'm even gonna put this one right on top. Now my only concern here is this little grommet is gonna keep it from laying flat. So I'm gonna just have that sticking out. Um, and make sure this is, yeah, that's straight. Okay. With that sticking out so it doesn't mess us up. And we'll run this through and see how that works. Um, and again, I usually run it through a few times. I don't know, maybe three or four. And again, you could use this with any die cut machine. I've done it with my Anna Griffin Empress, the electric one. I mean, then you really don't have to do any work. All right, let's see how this, now this is a very, I don't know if you can see, it's like a shimmery surface. So, you know, I don't know if that's gonna affect how this transfers, so we'll see what happened. Ooh, look at that. Guys, how easy is that? I, I don't know about you, but sometimes I, you know, I don't want to do all the work of putting those transfers on, but this just makes it so easy. And I think, maybe you will be more likely to want to use some of those transfers you have laying around. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, crafty hack video. Let me know if you try it and if it works for you. And if you have any other little crafty hacks that you like, or maybe want me to try, I would love to hear it. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.